Hey kids, welcome back to Let's Play SimCity 4. Uh, last episode we successfully diversified the inner bay by providing all this residential capacity here, which is going to give going to be giving us a bit of better bang for our buck in terms of um, how much industry we're going to be able to support. I'm trying to make this into the kind of industrial hub for the region, which will allow us to kind of deindustrialize the Plantation Bay City, which I'm trying to turn into a commercial hub. Uh, so uh, we have a huge glut, however, of industrial demand. Uh, I want to probably spend this episode on this city tile, to be honest, uh, and uh, what I want to do is kind of wait until, see it takes a long time for this, uh, where's the education one here, uh, for the education needs to kind of slowly tick up over time, uh, and that's going to create more commercial demand and less dirty industry demand, so I want to work on that, uh, and I want to work on kind of expanding this city. Uh, this is a very large city tile. The other tile doesn't have as much, you know, land to build on, basically, because there's a lot of water. Uh, so a hu if we're going to get a really big city, a lot of the residential areas and such are going to have to be on this tile. And I want them to feed in to, to this commercial city and kind of create a, a downtown skyscraper hub there. Um, and this, there's, a, there's a few challenges related to that, one of which is that uh, we're going to have, you know, a huge amount of the population is going to have to, uh, you know, take long treks across all this to, they're going to have long commutes basically, so we got to start thinking about that. Uh, I think it would be worthwhile to put a ferry connection uh, to, to this city for sure, to the next, a ferry connection in this city for sure. Uh, maybe I'll do that right away. Uh, I have some ideas about where we're going to develop. Let's just put this here. And I think we need to start using some higher capacity roads. Um, this road connection here, I think, is going to need to turn into an avenue. Um, and if you look at... If you look at our L train connection... I've made some adjustments. There's, there's, this is showing up white because I actually readjusted some of this off off screen. I've made some minor adjustments, but this is going to be at capacity uh, reasonably soon. I think that this line can support maybe one more spur over here of of residents, and you know we can extend this line probably up to like here or so before we end up with a really a really kind of a bottleneck here. Uh, thankfully, these are these are subway ends and um, elevated rail connection, so we can actually put a subway line underneath this that kind of doubles its capacity, and that might be a worthwhile thing to do at some point. Uh, try and, trying to carry as many people as possible without, without having, you know, a million redundant transit lines and stuff. Um, obviously, eventually I'll be building highways and stuff for the city, but I'm, I'm kind of liking this, this rail-based rail city for the time being. So. First things first, um, right, so I'm going to take this line here, and I, I like, we're kind of hitting the, the bay here. So, I'm going to start building, we're going to build an avenue here. We have a bit of cash, not a huge amount, but we do have a bit. I've added some road connections in, like, uh, there was no road here, see that I've extended, because there was kind of a traffic jam happening at that intersection. Uh, one thing you'll notice if you play this game a lot, uh, I I have the network add-on mod, mod configured to have higher road capacities for it to be a bit more realistic, I consider it to be a bit more realistic. Uh, I think I've mentioned that before, but uh, I'd also like to extend this north, these, this kind of boulevard thing north here. And I think the best way to do that is, I think we can try and build a set of those overpasses here. And if we can't do it, I'm not sure if this is going to work, to be perfectly honest. I'm not sure. Should It should work. It's going to make a mess. Uh, just warning you guys, this is going to make a colossal mess, and I'm going to have to fix it afterwards. Uh, no, it needs to be the other way. There we go. That should work. I'm not sure 
I'm not sure if those are actually... I don't, know, I don't know how those operate in terms of one-way connections. There we go. And this needs to be like this. Okay, it's working. Good, good. Sometimes the puzzle pieces fit together and sometimes they don't. I see I'm getting a weird roundabout thing there. I'm not sure. I might I may play with that off screen at some point and see if I can see if I can make it a little bit less gross looking to be honest. But there we go. That's another overpass. Um, and then we'll connect in this road network here. Uh, I'm gonna go with a looser grid. There we go. And what I'd like to do is have this kind of veer up. And I think it's going to, I think we're going to create another wide avenue type thing sort of at this level. Maybe I'll turn these into one way roads afterwards, but I'm just kind of drawing it out like that for the time being. And I think that we can be nice to this can go diagonally like this and like that. And then I'd like to actually have it veer up. Can we do that? Oh, here maybe. And follow that avenue like that so I don't want to do too much of that because you as you can see it's cutting into our budget quite quickly but the uh, yeah I want to keep building in industry along here so yeah uh, and then the rail has to has to also oh I guess we're gonna need to do something here in terms of the rail hmm Interesting. Yeah, there's another interesting problem. I'm doing a lot. This this stuff is fun to do on on screen. If I if it gets really messy, I, I can always fix it off screen. But um, but yeah, I do I do uh, don't mind doing this. Let's see if we can do an avenue overpass here. That could be kind of cool. Um, we've got it. here. It is avenue overpass. Avenue over rail. Okay, that's working. I like it. I've been avoiding building a lot of avenues, uh, and the reason for that is is partly that. Uh oh. Okay, we'll fix this after. We may have to. See if I can connect that up, otherwise I'm gonna have to rebuild that. Out oh, there we go. Uh, and then yeah, I, I don't like to build a lot of avenues when I'm trying to build a transit-based city because increasing the road capacity has has a kind of indirect effect of you know um, decreasing the use of transit, which is true in uh, real cities. You know, if uh, when cities build uh, huge highway networks, people stop using transit um, and. When transit is the fastest way to get around, people use it, and that's kind of how I have the uh, my my network add-on mod set up as well. Uh, is 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 when is um, well the way it works is you configure what uh, you configure uh, which population so um, poor, middle class, and rich which populations. Uh, use which trans transit forms, which which ones they prefer, and I have it set up in such a way that uh, low income people will almost always prefer transit. Middle income people will generally will tend to prefer the fastest mode of transportation, regardless of whether it's transit or the road. And high income people will 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 generally prefer to drive, and and I I kind of like that that setup. This rail connection is going to go all the way to the edge of the map here. And it's going to connect to the, the neighboring city, which we won't be building anytime soon. But I may, I may create a freight freight rail that uses that line. But yeah, that's kind of that's kind of a cool little interchange there. Um, you'll also notice before I forget to mention this, you'll also notice that I've put a few a little bit of green space in along this rail corridor. We got a nice ballpark there. 
Uh, this space here is kind of unused because of that tunnel, and there's a little community garden back there as well. So we're starting to get a, a few parks. I, I tend to neglect parks. Oh, I've also built this huge square here, um, which, is, which I think is kind of cool. Sort of, there's the hospital and the school, and there's this, there's the train station. So there's kind of this, this big central square, uh, kind of at the hub of the city, and maybe, maybe that will turn into. Um, Maybe that will turn into uh, a commercial hub for this city. Although I'm going to be withholding uh, commercial uh, development here to try and encourage it in the neighboring city. So we shall see. Now. Okay, yeah, that's going to work like that. Create kind of a re more rectangular grid pattern there. I'm not sure I'm actually going to build this up yet, but it'll probably be residential. There we go. Uh, all of this is going to be industrial. Can we do... Hmm. Might be worthwhile just to extend this. Like this. Can we do this? Yes, we can. It's good. And this will probably just end right there. Uh, just do this for now. We need to connect this up to the road network. Interesting. This is always a frustrating thing, turning I'd like this avenue to essentially, we can't connect an avenue to this unfortunately, it's just not how it works. But we might be able to do something else here. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's another road tool I could be using for this, but this is fine. Uh, we need to make, fix this up here. Avenue's very expensive. If we're not careful, we'll use up all of our money. Fucking around with this, okay. Uh, let's just connect this up here. There we are. And we need a bus station at the ferry. Kind of would have been nice to actually have a direct L train connection, but not a big deal. At least, at the very least, people can take the train down to here and transfer. Just make sure that this is the actual bus connection one. Yeah, it is. Okay. So yeah, this line will go up this way, and this line will go off this way. Um, and now I'm wondering, to be honest, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Because what I'm wondering is if whether this should... Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I haven't done that over here. I just don't think it's necessary. People can take the train down here, transfer on a train there, and go out this way, but this train should probably have a loop. I like that. Alright, let's zone some industry, because that's what we really need. Uh, we're going to need to have probably another connection over this. Rail thing here. Overpass City. And I really have to stop building transportation networks and then start zoning. Okay. Let's do that. 
that, so we can't. Okay. And another station. Rail, bus, and subway. There is a diagonal one of these, I think. I don't. Th I've never found that it works very well, though. I found it just makes kind of a mess. We'll see. See if I end up using some other. So we've got two new stations. The line is kind of ready to extend that way. At some point, we can put a rail station in somewhere as well, if we if we feel feel that it's necessary. Maybe there or something. There is a rail station. Well, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Every few every few stations, the the rail. These train stations are going to be kind of the express stations. If you want to skip a bunch of stations, you get on the on the heavy rail, which moves faster than the elevated elevated line. Right. Now I'll just do it like this. And it probably would be a good idea to. build a road along here for the time being, just so that we can have the possibility of connecting things up. And let's connect something like this, and take a look at the bus network. I'll also have industri industry north of the tracks there, I think. You can do that. Need to put some bus stations in. Uh, I should probably make sure that we have uh, water. Well, water obviously, but um, I want to make sure that we have fire coverage everywhere at this point. There we are. Just connect that like that for the time being. I want to. Ex this is the key area where I'm going to be expanding the port. Although I may also consider expanding it here. Might have to move that rail a bit and have a port set up there as well. That's a good good spot there. But we'll see. That's all easy enough to do later. The port that we've built in the city is not at maximum capacity yet, so there's no pressing need to expand it. We are going to though. We're going to need to build a power plant for sure. I'm going to go with coal power plant and try not to make that mistake I made last time of just put this here. In fact, like that, and we can actually delete this. I'll have to move the power plants in this city somewhere else at some point, but but we can uh, we can do this for now. Sorry, I had to cut the recording there for a second. Uh, I am back. So yes. This will eventually be industrial as well. Oops. Like that. And like that. All this area here. Uh, and I wanted to check fire. Yeah, so we just have the one tiny fire station. That's ridiculous. Uh, let's see, what can we do here? Oh, I built a big one there. And we're going to need something else like here. There we are. And I need to get rid of that, that small one. It's just a total waste. It's in this median here. There we are. Uh, I think I gave water to everyone, although, yeah, I need to build another water plant. I think I might go straight to the high capacity one, to be honest. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Get rid of this mess here. There we are. That's going to push our budget to the brink. Bit risky to be honest. I think I'm going to zone this right away. I want 
around to see how much money we had, to be honest. Uh, that bus stop there. And that should be decent enough, huh? Yeah, that's fine. There we are. any more money. I think that covers it all. Alright, let's unpause. Expenses are going up. There we go. We're making money again. Definitely still need more industry, but again, we can't build too much industry or we will not be able to support it with power and water. We're making money, that's for sure. We can build a road out here so that this develops. Yeah, industry is fairly tolerant of uh, sort of not being having direct road connections, so that's kind of useful. Uh, let's let's expand more. Let's kind of hit, hit, get close to the limit of what we can support in terms of industry. Good. There we are. Just do that for now. Again, some of this is going to turn into port later. We'll have to move things around a bit. So much industrial demand, it's crazy. See, yeah, it looks like the dirty industry demand has gone down. And that is good news. Also got a pretty substantial commercial demand. We need more power, another power plant. Put that there for now. I got to I got to make some decisions about where these power plants are going to go in the city, but I'm not too worried about it for now. Take a look at that education stat. Yeah, see, it's just going right up. And I don't know if it's actually, it might be leveling out at this point. We'll see. I think it's still going up, to be honest. We can, of course, give them high schools and stuff, but. Uh, we're not building up much office demand for the time being.
more residential demand for sure. Let's take a look at that port. I haven't been paying much attention to it. I think it's built out to the maximum now. Yeah, I believe this port only has seven growth stages, so when it gets to that capacity, we'll need to build another port. And I think at this point, we have just enough cash to afford to keep going with industrial development. I think I am going to put one level crossing in here closer to the edge of town. Of course, I'm losing... I'm actually going to delete this connection because I want them to use the port and I want to I want to kind of build up this port and see what the true capacity of it is, so probably as soon as I do that, this will, yeah, definitely getting close to capacity. Oh, we're starting to get more demand for for commercial areas. Uh, let's extend this. And I think this whole area here is going to be industrial. Uh, let's put... You know what? I can delete this and put a road connection over the railroad tracks there. Uh, maybe the next one, yeah. Like this. And that. There we are. That's looking good to me. Let's expand this line. No. Uh, definitely a station there. That might be the end of it. One more station. Yeah, I think that's good. Just put it there. I'm not going to be going into this tile yet. Uh, it's a bit too far from our main city. Yeah, that's kind of a good good spot for a for a a terminal. And it's a good thing we built the rail station there as well. Now we need to put some bus stations in. That's probably pretty good. Water. There we are. Perfect. Quite a large industrial area. This is also going to give me a sense of whether I want to expand industry this way. It's getting getting to be quite a long, long commute from uh, from where we have 
residential stuff, but just got some cleaner industry coming up there. And now we have a substantial demand for uh, commercial. Uh, the I, I believe the amount of manufacturing industry, basically every type of industry encourages a different type of commercial area. So whether if you have manufacturing building up, some of these types of commercial activity start to go up. High tech encourages some of that, the, the higher end commercial types. So, you know, one type creates demand for another basically. And uh, what do we got here? Sorry, state of health. Yeah. Oh, state of the art health. Hmm. Interesting. What's going on here? Oh yeah, I increased the funding here. I don't know why it's saying that. That's. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna ignore that. Um, looks good to me. Let's take a look at. Uh, let's take a look at the how people are getting around here. Yeah. So you can see this line is starting to. to this line is very well used or reasonably well used. You know, at a sort of one third capacity or whatever. This one here will soon, you know, if we start building more residential areas, it will it will fairly fairly rapidly hit capacity for sure. Yeah, I'm. What I'd like to do is build residential along here, give people access to these stations. We'll see. Maybe I'll build a rail viaduct. That might be a good idea. If I built a rail viaduct here, then all these streets could go underneath it. Could be useful. I think I will. We'll see. I think uh, our next move here is to go to the neighbor neighboring city and uh, let the commercial build up before we start adding residential. See the transportation map, what it's starting to look like. So we're gonna have that spur going this way. The spur, the spur will kind of head up to that corner. This one I'll build out here, probably sort of like this. Everything kind of leading into the central area here. 150,000 in this city, 50,000 in this city. You see, we've got almost as much industry now in this city as we do in this city. We're going to start to want to reverse that tendency. Getting some bigger buildings here. Looking good. What is this? Oh yeah, plaza. I built that big plaza there. That's cool. Right. So I want to see if we get some more commercial development here. We're losing... I don't know. Looks good. We may have to zone some more commercial. Looks like some some taller commercial buildings are coming up on their own though. I think we'll want to be zoning some more commercial though very soon. Take a look at zones, see where we can squeeze some in. We can up zone some of these for sure. Like all this stuff here can be up zoned to the denser commercial areas. stuff is coming up for sure. But we need more. We need more. Okay, let's take a look at traffic and find some high traffic areas to build more commercial. Oh yeah, this, this business here. I made a road connection there. 
and it is definitely it's a bit of a wonky one to be honest. Uh, probably would make sense to do something like this. Where is that going to lead? Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do something like this. There we go. Make a kind of arterial road up there. For sure. And then we're going to need something to connect up. Like here, maybe. And let's take a look at what that does with traffic. Maybe I'll put some commercial up there. street. Probably even just go straight to dents to be honest. Obviously we're killing off some of our residential population, but well, I gotta deal with that too. That's a real liability having that trash there. This whole corner whole corner here needs to be worked on. Um, I cannot have a big trash dump right here. I'm going to be building stuff up here and ex expanding that part of the city for sure, so. Things to keep in mind. city is just like immensely rich. It's kind of funny. I just haven't been paying attention to offering more services to be honest. There we are. Like that. Like this. in at some point. Maybe with a little bit more residential. Yeah, that could be a good idea. for now. Bit of a mess, but I'm fine with it. Right. Interesting. Doesn't seem to like to develop the dense zones when it's just demanding uh, these commercial areas. You can downzone it. Uh, it's, it's coming up though. Oh yeah. That's cool. I'm cool with that. What's going on down here? Could also turn this into a bit of a commercial street. Probably a good idea. I think it's a very good idea. There we are. This is how I like to do commercial zones. These kind of com these main street strips, really. And then having a downtown area more concentrated over here, I guess.
Probably want to make some adjustments to the bus network. There's no, there's not a lot of buses running along this road here. But we'll do that. We'll do that later. Yep. So this is good. This is great. Uh, we've we've successfully gotten rid of a lot of the demand for dense industry in this city. Uh, and at this point, uh, the, a good next step here would be to actually start on you know getting rid of this stuff. Although I'd rather go back to the other city first, I think. But yeah, uh, I think I'm going to cut this episode off here. Um, maybe go out and look at the. Well, let's just take a look at the overall city here. We're starting to get we're starting to get a bit of a downtown area going though, for sure. And as we connect, create, as we connect more cities, like maybe up here, as we connect more cities to this area, uh, we'll, we'll get we'll get even more demand for for commercial areas. And we're starting to get an industrial hub in the inner bay. So I think uh, we've done a pretty solid uh, pretty solid job of expanding the city. Uh, next episode, I'll probably be focusing on certainly getting some more residential areas in at some point. And, uh, you know, going up, we're, we're above 200,000 now, and we're going to be working our way up to something like 500,000 very quickly. So thank, uh, if you enjoy the series, please like the video, uh, uh, follow the channel, subscribe to the channel, and uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.